Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angela aka Stitching Brit. This is floss tube number 45 and today is Tuesday the 8th of November 2022. Not long to go now until we get to Christmas. It seems that November is flying by already. So since my last floss tube video I noticed that I've had quite a jump in subscribers so I want to just say a massive thank you to each and every one of you for all of your support it really is so much appreciated and i also really appreciate all of the comments as well for each of my videos and i also just want to say a big thank you to some people that have given me a bit of a shout out so the ones that i know of are terry lee crafts cross stitch bunny stitching mummy the stitching penguin and hallie i think i've said that right if i've missed anybody please let me know because it's so nice to um, have that shout out and to be known on other people's channels. It still blows my mind, really, um, this community. But anyway, also over the last few weeks, I have been asked by a few people if they can buy me a coffee for my channel. Um, it's not something I've ever thought about, but because, like I say, I've been asked a few times now, I have got a buy me a coffee link if you would like to support my channel. It's not something I'm going to be mentioning each week in my channel at all. The link will be there. Um, and if you'd like to support my channel, then that would be lovely. And thank you in advance. So I think I've got about six projects to show you. Let me just check. Six. Yeah, six projects to show you. As always, got my trusted little notebook so I don't forget anything. So let's get into the whips that I have been stitching on over the last couple of weeks. So the first one was... Da, da, da. Got it in the wrong order. Never mind. Here we are. Uh, Story Keep, Life is an Open Book London by Amy Stewart. That's what that one will look like. And... I haven't done very much on this one purely because over the last couple of weeks it's been one of those fortnights where you think the day is going to go a certain way and then it goes a complete opposite way. So I think this is what happened uh, with this piece where I didn't get much on but this is where I'm up to and I have done 200 stitches so I'm at 9.77% and it's stitched on 18 count two over one and it's stitched using the royal rose method of stitching and i just when you hold these back they just really show all the detail don't they um but yeah really pretty really lovely and my plan is to get to the end of this row so i can move down um to the next one so I stitch on this piece every Tuesday, so I will be stitching on this later today. And I don't know if I'm gonna get all four done, but definitely by the next time you see this, I will have moved down to this next row here. So that is that one. I then stitched on um, a Christmassy piece which is oh let me show you which one it is it's quick stitch winter robin spirit of winter robin sorry by Ciro marchetti that's what that one will look like and this is where i'm up to so this one i started diagonal stitching and then i went a bit rogue and then i am now converting it to royal rose so i worked on over here this bit i think i think i did actually this bit as well um obviously guys any before pictures i will put them in as always so you can see where i last was on this piece but doesn't it look gorgeous this robin i know he's only got one eye there and a partial <laughs> partial face but i just think they the detail on these are just amazing and this is actually stitching quite quickly. Um, again, I think it was just one of those days where I was just really tired and I just couldn't stitch anymore. And I just didn't want to make any mistakes because I was just so tired. So yeah, that's my winter robin. This one is stitched on 20 count, two over one. And I did 676 stitches 
and I'm now at 17.94% on that one. And this next one has been a real focus piece. I'm trying to do about half an hour each day, not always managing it, but if I know that I've missed a day, then I try and do a bit extra the next day. Um, again, not always working out, but I'm I'm trying to catch up. And this is one of the sales that I am part of, and it is Christmas Memory Jars by Susan Bates. And this is a chart that you can get on Etsy. And this was a sale that was started by Cross Stitch Bunny, and it was to literally do a jar every so often. I think it was actually I don't know how what, what the gap was between each of the dates for the jars. But um, the sale is that at the moment, everybody is starting on jar, everybody's working on jar eight. And then on the 21st of November, we start on jar nine. So this is where I am at. I have done lots of stitching, but not much back stitch. <laughs> um, I know I need to do the back stitch. Let me just put that behind just in case there we go that's better i know i need to do the back stitching but stitching the jar seems much more fun um so this is my plan i'm going to stitch this jar here and then i'm going to do all the back st stitching and all the writing in for these three jars i'm going to move my cue snap up so that i can do these three jars but before I start those three jars, I'm going to finish the back stitching and the writing in there. So then I've just got the three jars to do. But my plan is to get the two more jars done and the back stitching on these three before I start jar nine. Actually, thinking about that, I might need to do the back stitching before I do the before I do the second of the jars. So at least this jar all of the back stitching and the writing and the back stitching on there before we get to jar nine or the date in which we should be starting jar nine. And then the sale actually finishes on the 9th of December. So then I've got time to do three jars and the writing and the back stitch. If I keep doing my plan of working on this for like half an hour every day which I'm going to keep trying to do, making, like I say, making this a bit of a focus piece. If you would like to um, tag what you're doing, if you're working on this, then the hash, there is a hashtag. It's hashtag nine jars sal, which I will link below as well. So that is this one. And yeah, really lovely. There is a summer version as well, and I will be doing that one next year. I don't know if I will do it in such a time frame, but I'm liking the time frame on this one because I would like it done by Christmas so then I can get it framed and out for Christmas. So yeah, that's my Christmas jars. Apologies, I don't think I said that that was what it was called, but anyway, yeah, Christmas jars. And this is stitched on a 20 count. It's like an ivory Ada that I'm stitching that on. Um, the next one that I stitched on is my weekend focus piece, which is my World Travel Bookshelf by Amy Stewart. This is what this one will look like. And this is the um, normal version. It's not a max color or um, super size. It's just the normal version. And it's my only, I think it's my only normal version piece. Uh, yeah, I think so. So this is oh, uh, where I am now up to. Um, again, converted it to the Royal Rose method, which I think for this piece is just right. <laughs> this is exactly what, for me, what this piece needs. So as you can see, there are lots and lots of gaps and there were lots of gaps up here. So there's no more gaps there or above now. And I've just literally been working. These next three towers will work quite quickly, I believe. Well, I say quite quickly. Um, much quicker than what these ones have worked because I've ha I was looking for gaps and there was lots and lots of, um, you can see here from the threads, there were lots and lots of um, colour changes. So, but yeah, really liking how this is coming out. So you've got um, the sort of column here, you've got the two books, 
the start of a musical instrument so yeah really pleased how this is going i have got a busy weekend this weekend so i'm not sure how much i will get done but i would love it if i could finish the get to the end of this page this is actually a page finish i think that's only page two and what i've decided to do is the royal rose mesh method on each shelf per page i was umming and ahhing over do i move down to the next shelf but now i'm going to stick with this shelf get this shelf finished but just go page by page using the Royal Rose method. So like I say, this is page two and I just wanna get everything done. So it's kind of all squared off. If I could get that done by the end of the year, then I that would be great. I don't know if I can, but like I say, I am gonna focus on this every weekend and just see where I get to really. But yeah, looking really good. So. With that one, I did 570 stitches. I'm now at 3.74% and that one is 20 count two over one as well. So the next one I haven't worked on for ages. I hadn't realized how long it had been. And this one I call Pink Fairy, but is actually Faces of Fairy 178 by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. And again, this one has had a had multiple different methods of stitching and I think that's okay you know to have different methods of stitching as you go because you transition I think with what you're doing and the piece so this one is this is where it is at so as you can see I was doing diagonal stitching again and then went a bit rogue and now I've converted this one to the real rose method as well and I've literally gone all the way across So yeah, only goes up to here. That was, I think that was when I was doing my, having my rogue moment. I went all the way across. But I'm nearly at the end with the rose for the Royal Rose Method. Um, I just didn't get time to finish those last sort of two and a half towers. I think the Royal Rose Method calls it, or two and a half, two and a half squares, should we say. 10 by 10 squares. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting this one out again. It's not a very big piece. Um, it's not, it's really quite fun to stitch on. It's got all my favourite colours in, um, sort of the creams, the pinks. So I can't wait to get that one out again. So this one is stitched on 20 count and it, I did 773 stitches and it's at 15.30%. And then another piece I would really love to get um, completed by the end of the year. I have to get this completed by the end of the year. Is one of my temperature pieces. And I say one of my temperature pieces because this one is Temperature Typography by The Stitching Mummy. Many of you know that I started the temperature tree in 2021 and didn't get it finished. Nowhere near finished. So I've got to get this one finished surely. And I'm not sure if I will do another one next year. If I do, I have to commit to keeping up with it because it's. I think it would be much more fun to see the temperatures as they're happening rather than on reflection now. So this one is not ironed in any way. It's very creased, but never mind. It will get washed and ironed when it's finished. This is where I'm at now. So I have caught up up until June. Um, I'm spending an hour a week on this at least an hour um yeah so i'm just gonna move along now to july july had our hottest day of the year in fact the hottest day on record since weather was recorded in the uk um we got up to 40 degrees and let me tell you we could not cope <laughs> with that level of heat but it does mean that on this piece it would mean that i've used all of the temperature colors so really quite excited about that and yeah so i'm going to be working on july and then like i say just keep going when i have finished my christmas jars this will become the next focus and after what this is done i'll decide on what becomes the focus after that so that is all of my projects that i have worked on um now for plans for 2022 because i was really thinking about what i want to achieve for 
for the rest of 2022. I've got some ideas of what I want to do for 2023 and I will share those with you all when I do my end of year whip parade. But plans. First and foremost, I'm going to do 30 minutes a day of stitching on my focus piece. And at the moment, that is my Christmas jars until they get finished. The second thing is I'm going to focus on certain days of the week to um, do certain projects. So weekends is my World Travel Bookshelf. Tuesdays is my Story Keep London. Uh, Life is an open book. London and on Mondays I'm going to do my mini virus detected piece I will show you that next time I didn't get to work on it over the last couple of weeks different things have happened on a Monday that have thrown my plans so they are going to be my plans if you like for each week for the rest of the year now with everything else i have plotted all of my other projects so that i will get to see all of my projects before the end of 2022 that being said i have decided to um put some projects in time out and i was going to do that at the start of 2023 but i've done it already there's some projects i'm just not into working on and when i do my whip parade i will share why i'm not really that keen on carrying on with those pieces at the moment that's not to say i wouldn't get them back out again in the future but at the moment they're not of interest to me so thankfully though it's none of my heaven and earth pieces um you'll be pleased to know so that really is all of my plans to focus on those certain pieces on certain days and then to fit my other projects in around that and then to have my focus piece where i sit half an hour each day on whatever my focus piece is so that is everything guys a bit of a shorter video for you today but i hope you are all keeping safe and well have a lovely couple of stitching have, have a lovely couple of weeks stitching is what i wanted to say um so take care guys and bye for now